35 years old when I first met Henry Ford. It was a relationship that would change my life forever. The meeting took place on his Timberland estate in Dearborn Township during the cold winter of 1888 to 1889. I spent that winter with Ford cutting wood around the estate using a two-man wood saw. The young Ford admired my workmanship. He also enjoyed working by my side and later used our working relationship as a parable for labor relations between white and black workers. Sharing our experience, he explained how we had worked together, the colored man at one end of the log and the white man on the other, two different men working together to get the job done. We moved to Detroit before the Great Migration of the 1900s, in a time when the African-American population of Detroit was quite small. In 1904, after saving enough money as a laborer, I was able to buy a home for my family in southwest Detroit on Pearl Street. It was a modest brick home that had very few windows, making the inside of the home relatively dark. When I moved in, my family was the only African-American family in the entire neighborhood. Even though we were a minority in that area, the neighbors treated us very well. My wife was quick to make friends with the neighbors who spoke highly of her after her death. We would remain the only African-American family to reside on that street for many years, and to many neighbors, we were the only African-Americans they knew. I worked as a bricklayer, a job that I would continue for 25 years. My career came to an end in 1913 at age 61 when I developed a heart condition that prevented me from continuing to work as a bricklayer.